It begins not with an explosion, but with a detection, not on land, but from orbit. The golden dome is rising. This is no longer science fiction. It is now reality. I promised the American people that I would build a cutting edge missile defense shield to protect our homeland from the threat of foreign missile attack. This design for the Golden Dome will in integrate with our existing defense capabilities and should be fully operational before the end of my term. It's the United States' most ambitious space defense system ever proposed, designed to intercept hypersonic missiles and orbital threats in real time from space. Some call it a shield, others believe it's something more a strategic leap in national defense. Today on Stock Trek, a space odyssey, we'll explore what the Golden Dome is, how it works, who's building it, and how smart investors are positioning themselves at the intersection of space, strategy, and innovation. So you may be wondering, why is the US building it now? And the answer is global threats are evolving. China and Russia have both deployed hypersonic weapons that travel faster than Mach 5 and can maneuver midair. That makes them nearly impossible to stop with traditional missile defense systems. To counter this, the US is moving beyond ground-based radar and it's building a layered space-based defense network capable of detecting launches the moment they occur tracking threats in real time, intercepting missiles from orbit before they reach their targets. And this effort isn't hypothetical, it's already underway. Funded by agencies like the US Space Force, the Missile Defense Agency, DARPA, and the Space Development Agency. So how will the Golden Dome work? Well, here's what the system can look like. First off, it'll start off with detection a network of low earth orbit satellites equipped with infrared sensors watches for launches globally. This is based on OPER, or otherwise known as the Overhead Persistent Infrared Technology, already used by the US military. Then it'll track and classify. So once a launch has been detected, the AI driven tracking systems will calculate the trajectory, speed and risk all within a matter of milliseconds. And then the communication. This data will then be relayed instantly across satellites using laser-based interlink systems, skipping the slow ground relays. And finally, interception. If a threat has been confirmed, the system can deploy uh, kinetic kill vehicles such as projectiles launched from space to destroy the missile mid-flight, or directed energy weapons like lasers or microwave beams to disable guidance systems. Kind of like Star Wars, but for real. The result? A fully autonomous layered defense system with 24-7 orbital coverage. Although the Golden Dome isn't officially the project named, its components are already being developed and deployed across multiple defense programs. The government agency's leading development on such technology are the US Space Force for strategy and deployment, the MDA, otherwise known as Missile Defense Agency for missile tracking and intercept, the STA, which is the Space Development Agency for building the satellite constellation infrastructure, and then DARPA for advanced weapon systems and orbital AI. Now, there are private sector companies that will be involved in this dome, and a massive portion of the project is being executed by publicly traded defense companies. Here are the major players that I want you all to keep your eyes on because all these have the potential to take a slice of that golden dome pie if the golden dome is pushed forward to be built. Now, these include long-standing companies such as Lockheed Martin, ticker symbol LMT. Uh, they could possibly be involved in building missile tracking satellites and intercept platforms. They are also a major partner in SDA's next-gen sensor layers. Then we have Northrop Grumman, ticker symbol NOC, for developing orbital surveillance systems and AI-enabled command platforms for managing battle space control across orbital assets. Then there's Raytheon with ticker symbol RTX. They are the leader in directed energy weapons and radar systems and for developing high-speed response systems for hypersonic threats. 
And then the fan favorite Rocket Lab, ticker symbol RKLB, for launching small defense satellites under contracts with Space Systems Command, and they're capable of rapid deploy orbital support systems. And also there is Palantir Technologies, providing AI, threat modeling, and decision engines for military operations. They're already integrated into battlefield awareness systems. And for those of you that would like to invest in that, the ticker symbol is PLTR. So basically this isn't just a strategic initiative. It's an investment theme that is hiding in plain sight. If you believe space-based defense is the future, that is how I would invest. I would invest in Lockheed Martin for the core contractor with multi-billion dollar exposure to space defense, Northrop Grumman for the advanced orbital systems and command infrastructure, Raytheon for developing their infamous directed energy layer weapons for space defense, uh, Rocket Lab for their fast-moving player in orbital launch and satellite delivery, and Palantir for dominating in real-time defense for AI and data fusion. If you're unsure or you just can't pick one or a few, then you might want to be interested in something like an ETF for a broader net of exposure. And the ETFs I would recommend would be UFO. Basically, it's a Procure Space ETF for satellite and space technology exposure. There is also a ticker symbol XAR for S&P Aerospace and Defense, and then ITA for iShares of the US Aerospace and Defense. Those stocks and funds are a way to track and profit from the rise of defense as a service in orbit. So the same satellites and AI that protect us could in theory be used to disable enemy assets or even launch first strike capabilities. That is why many experts say the Golden Dome isn't just a shield. It's the beginning of a new kind of deterrence built above the clouds. In a world where threats are faster, smarter, and harder to detect, the first line of defense won't be a soldier or a ship. It'll be a silent signal from space and the decision of an orbital system trained to act without delay. The Golden Dome is already happening. The technology is already here, it's in orbit. The contracts are, are just waiting to be signed. And yet most investors haven't connected the dots. So here's the question. Are you positioned to profit from the rise of orbital defense? Or are you gonna wait until it becomes headline news and it's like a sure thing? Let me know in the comments below what space or defense stocks are on your radar and do you see this as a long-term opportunity? And if this video helped you connect the dots between strategy, technology, and investing in space, be sure to subscribe to Stock Trek and hit the bell because this is where space meets capital. Thanks for watching and as always, invest long and prosper.